We begin with the Hoth Tramway, or more correctly, the Hill of Hoth Tramway, which survived a further decade after the Dublin trams closed at the end of the 1940s. The Hill of Hoth Tramway survived until 1959, and in this favourite archival broadcast, Joe Lenane went on one of the last journeys. We're told never to speak to the driver, but I'm speaking to the driver of the Hoth Tram out here on the platform, not from the back seat, but from the very front seat. Here is the driver whose name is... Tom Redmond. Hello, Tom. How are Tom, you? Tom, we're going nicely now at a good, steady two and a half miles an hour through this cutting. What's the name of this cutting? Kruger's Cutting. Kruger's Cutting. Why was it called Kruger's Cutting? Uh, the Boer War started at the time they were doing the cutting on the Hill of Hull Tramway, making the Hill of Hull Tramway. The Boer War was on at the I time, see. and they got the nickname of Kruger's Cutting. I thought perhaps you had some distinguished passengers and Paul Kruger might have travelled on the tram. That no, is not so. No, no. Well, Tom, will you be sorry to see this? Poor old tram going away on the 31st. Oh, definitely, Mr. Lane, yes, definitely. I'd be very, very sorry to see it, and uh, my colleagues in question will be very sorry to see you go too, because we were a little colony of our own here. I'm quite sure, yes. Well, Tom, it's magnificent to be out here doing this enormous speed. There we have a passenger. Who's this small Philip getting off? Is it? Hello, Philip. <laughs> That's little Philip. That's isn't right. It? That's right. And I notice he's being left at his own back door. That's true. Not an official stop. That's right. But we won't tell the company about it. Not a word. Good man, Tom. Drive on. Faster, faster. Right, oh. <laughs> and this is how Joe Lenane concluded that broadcast. To my left here, there's the Bailey Lighthouse, a coaster carving its delicious way through a very calm sea. And the prospect in the distance of perhaps a cup of tea or a glass of something at the inn at the top of the summit, which we are now fast approaching. Did I say fast approaching? Slowly approaching, deliciously, charmingly, wonderfully approaching. That is something that Dubliners, Irelanders and foreigners are going to miss in just a few days' time. As one lady said, progress must go on. The Hoth tram has to go. What a pity. But it's pulling to a stop. At this moment, there is the inn. Lounges, bars written on it, tea rooms, ice creams. Progress has come to the summit. And the old Hoth tram has to go. Joe Lenane and further glimpses of the great outdoors from the archives.